talk about the water wars between Atlanta and the Apalachicola River, I think a lot of people see it as the Bay versus Atlanta. And what a lot of people don't realize is that there's 112 river miles before you get to the Bay um, that are also very sensitive. All of us have a stake in it. My book is Life Along the Apalachicola River, and it's a collection of stories that uh, I heard and some that I lived uh, growing up here in Calhoun County um, and spending my formative years on the river and in the river swamp. We wanted to tag along with Jim as he did the kinds of things he does in his book. We're the Iamonia Lake Hunting and Fishing Club. Um, Iamonia Lake is a, not to be confused with Leon County's Lake Iamonia, Iamonia Lake is an oxbow off the Apalachicola River. What we're about to do is take a trip over into the island and see if we can hear a turkey. Turkey hunting season begins tomorrow. Today, we're going to listen and figure out where they might be. What I normally do is just sit down with my back against a tree. Looks like it'll be daylight in about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes. But yeah, they roost in trees overnight and then they fly down when it's light enough for them to see in the morning. I'm not a historian or a scientist, and so you know I, I'm not going to write the definitive book on the ecology of the Apalachicola River system or the you know, a history text. But what I do think I have is a unique perspective, having grown up here, having heard the stories from people who came generations before me, and having spent my early years down here in the swamps. I think it's a unique look at a culture that's grown up around this river and around this area. It has family tragedy. And he testified in court that he thought that if Uncle James caught him, he was going to kill him. So he waited for Uncle James, pulled a shotgun, and when he saw him, he shot him. It has comedy. So you walk down there, here, get it, get it, here. <laughs> it's a look at local culture that you'll never find in a history book. Uncle James would give my father 10 shotgun shells. And my father had to come back home with either the shotgun shell or something to show for it. Jim's family has been in Calhoun County for seven generations. For seven generations, they've hunted and fished the Apalachicola in its floodplain. Yeah, the problem with being a turkey hunter is that the normal course of things is that the male, which is what we hunt, he gobbles and the females come to him. We're trying to, to a degree, go against nature We'll put it in and try to yelp a little bit, just see if we get an answer out here. I'm sounding very little like a turkey this morning, by the way. Jim's family has lived by the Apalachicola for over 150 years. Within his lifetime, however, he's seen both the river and Iamonia Lake change. In my lifetime, this has been a, uh, an easily navigable waterway from where we are now all the way out to the river. And if the water stays low for a long time, then you, that gives vegetation a chance to catch hold, grow. The vegetation then you know, collects more silt Willows impede our progress as we make our way to the river. All of us you know, grew up eating fried fish, coming down here and gigging frogs and hunting and fishing. And it, you know, the river was the source of all that, you know, entertainment, sustenance. Um, and before the modern era was you know, transportation and communication lane. And when you grow up around it, you always just assume that it's permanent, that it's always going to be there. And that's been one of the painful lessons of the last few years of my life, is to realize that it may not always be here. And this is the Apalachicola River in all its foggy glory this morning. Apalachicola is about 60 miles that way. Chattahoochee is about 40 miles that way. We go back up Iamonia Lake to go fishing. 
This is all contingent on me being able to untangle this. <laughs> the best earthworms in the world come from the Apalachicola National Forest. I have nothing to base that on, but <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it until somebody proves me different. Nothing's biting here. Next, Jim sets some bush hooks. Mickey and I have known, you know, known Mickey forever. Uh, he grew up over in Liberty County. I grew up over here. Mickey took me to the grave of his great, great, great grandfather, Seaborn Larkins. Seaborn Larkins served in Company A of the 2nd Florida Cavalry, right alongside my great grandfather. <laughs> So you're talking about, you know, friendships and kinships that go back 150 years. I do think we'll save the river. I think that, you know, the Riverkeeper, I think a lot of these organizations, um, the, the Calhoun County um, pageant queens sort of taken up the, the river as a cause. So you've got a lot more attention to it now. My hope is that with all that attention that's focused on it, that we don't ever lose that we don't forget the culture and the people like my father and his friends and my grandfather and their, those generations that came before and uh, the fun that they had down here and the, the things that they did. Jim recently decided to take a break from writing his blog. You can browse past articles at outdoorsdownsouth.com. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas.